and uh, I want to talk to you about two publications and uh, the first one is Coin World and Coin World is a great magazine to subscribe to uh, it costs $25 a year and it is worth the money and uh, for many reasons it's worth the money if you're a rare coin enthusiast if you like paper money if you like uh, silver or gold bullion you need to get the subscription to Coin World um, you will thank me for doing so uh, for several reasons. First reason, it has beautiful high quality images of coins, many which you've never seen before. So I, I from all over the world, um, it is such a really great resource if you want uh, new images of, of coins. It has great articles on the history of various coins and the mint and you can learn so much by reading um, the articles that are contained in this magazine. Uh, not only that, but again, it, it, it's just a great resource. It tells you of upcoming auctions, um, beautiful coins here again that are going to be auctioned off. I'd love to have that draped bust. Looks like what a silver dollar? No, it's a dime, a 10 cent piece. Again, great images, it tells you about releases that are coming out, and uh, you find specials sometimes. Call today for a free 32-page catalog. I might actually call for that catalog. Um, but again, you have 2019 West Little Park Quarters, 25 bucks each, BU. You've got 1964 Kennedy Half Dollars, BU condition. And again, this is a little bit uh, better quality, a much better quality than your junk silver rolls. So, and the price isn't that bad, especially when you look at the current price for a roll of junk silver uh, Kennedy half dollars, 90 percenters. This isn't actually a bad price for BU. You've got uh, the uncirculated uh, 2019 West Point Lincoln cent, 1950. Again, some of these prices might be high, but you can find dealers that have really, really, really great prices in here. What I really like about this is it comes out monthly with this coin value guide. And I've gone to many coin shops before or uh, coin shows where the I'll be negotiating the price of a coin. I'll say, can you do this? Can you get it down to this low? You know, we'll go back and forth and I'll make my final offer. And the dealer will pull out this magazine and they will use this as their price guide. They won't use gray sheets. They're not using the red book. A lot of times I see them using this. And uh, they will make their final offer, their counter offer, based on whatever is uh, in this magazine. So it's really cool that some dealers are using this to price their inventory. Uh, you see, again, different dealers, and it kind of tells you what they have as far as uh, their inventory goes. Look at that. A 1936 proof set, 5200 bucks. I own the Proof Lincoln Penny for all of these years, most of these years. I'm um, not too far away from getting to that point. Got unopened proof sets, and you got a lot of cool, uh, cool things. Chicago World's Fair of Money, August 13th through the 17th in Rosemont. I've been to Rosemont. It's a nice place. They've got a big old casino there, and uh, been there a couple times actually. But again, you see a lot of cool things. Like I'm not into Canadian coins and I would have never known that they are gonna release this Canadian uh, dollar commemorating the 75th anniversary of D-Day. That's pretty cool. And it comes in that nice clamshell case. So again, I got employment opportunities. Too big to mail, I can drive to you. Buyer of collections. Now that's pretty cool that he is willing to drive to you. So you can find resources on where to sell your coins. Um, great collections, if you guys are familiar with great collections, they're always advertising him here. Um, this Ian Russell who owns great collections and you can see different coins that he has available. But a great resource, the articles are fantastic. Um, really, really great articles. And yeah, many of them you can read online, but these are expanded versions, and then there are many of them here that you can't read online. 
And then in the back, they've got an area geared for paper currency. And, and I love this part. This is actually one of my favorite parts is their little marketplace where all the dealers can advertise. And man, you find so many cool resources from coin supplies to, they've got a bigger section of that somewhere in here, but you can find coin supplies at wholesale to different dealers making their pitches to coins for sale. I love their marketplace section. And then they've got a whole area for paper money. They've got some articles on paper money. And then they also have, see, I, I didn't even know some of this stuff, so I'm gonna have to um, read that article for sure on the sign bills, but they've got the price guide for paper money. So this is a great resource to have, and if you're not subscribed to Coin World, you guys should uh, go to their website and sign up for the magazine. Again, 25 bucks a year, and uh, I'm probably gonna be subscribed to this thing for life. So. A uh, very cool magazine, and I look through it every single month, and I always learn something new. The next one, I actually uh, am a subscriber to John Hartley, and if you guys aren't uh, subscribed to his videos, go check him out. He's a very cool YouTuber, has some cool stories. He likes bourbon like I do. I always tell people at the beginning of the week when they say, how are you doing? I say, I need the biggest bottle of bourbon I can find. I'm I'm ready for the biggest bottle of bourbon I can find. And they always laugh. I catch them off guard. But I love bourbon. He loves bourbon. And uh, that makes him a winner in my book. But he's got some real good eyes because some of the coins he picks out are some of the most beautiful that I've seen on YouTube. And I've uh, really strived to make my collection, my albums, um, look just as nice as his. He's got some really nice Dansko albums that he's put together. Uh, he spends a lot of time looking for his coins, I imagine, and uh, as you should. Um, I spend a lot of time looking for the best deal and the best coin I can afford, so uh, I try to... I'm halfway there, I suppose. But he featured a video on this book, and it was a relatively short video, and uh, he had a magazine in his video, Speak of the Devil, but his was a little different. It was Sports Illustrated, the, the swimsuit edition, but... Uh, he had this book, and I had never seen it before, so I thought, you know, I'm going to buy one of these. And I bought mine on eBay. That's kind of the expensive route. I realized that after the fact, and it's a slower route as far as shipping, it's going to cost you over $40 on eBay, whereas if you go to Amazon, you can pick this up for $30 with two days shipping via Prime. And so I, I bought this on eBay. And again, sorry, guys, I got to kind of get reseated here, uh, more comfortable position. But I bought this on eBay, and... The people I bought it from took forever to ship it, and it was like a two-week journey just to get this book in my hands. But I tell you, worth the money. This thing has, is this full color? This thing has full color, um, full color pictures of coins. It teaches you how to grade the coins. It shows you history of the designers. But look, it shows you like, for example, kind of a photo grade which is really cool. And it shows you the prices and how many have been certified by PCGS and GC or NX. And uh, kind of the grades for those coins. And it gives you just a ton of history on the coins and uh, the people behind the coins. I mean, it, this is such a great book. And the first, um, Again, just all the pictures, beautiful pictures, full color, everything the Red Book has, plus 50. This is a really, really cool book, plus 100, times 100. So uh, I can definitely, don't buy a regular Red Book. If you can afford to buy one of these, buy this, because you're going to be really, really happy that you did. Um, the first couple sections here, this whole red section, I think I counted it was over 100 pages, um, is all about the history of coins in America. And I am on page 63 right now. You can see my bookmarker. And uh, I have learned some things about my own coin collection that, that I didn't know uh, at all. Um, and I've seen some cool pictures that I have never seen before. And... and uh, 
even some new coins I've been acquainted with. I really would like to get this coin. Don't know if it's possible to get, but I really like that design. There were a few other ones that I really like the design of them. I really like that one. Reminds me a lot of my no, uh, Novus Costiello uh, coin that I have. There's just several coins here that I'd really like to get. I have a few Geocent. So I already have one of those. Mine's not nearly that great of quality, but I can say I have one. But this just talks about everything from uh, how to conserve, how to clean your coins, um, I mean, you name it. And when it talks about cleaning, it talks about how it's generally perceived as unacceptable, but it does give you some uh, pointers on cleaning and, and tips and so forth. Uh, how to preserve copper coins in an album um, and how to remove uh, clear nail polish it recommends. And then you can take that off with acetone. Um, yep, polish can be and it preser preserves the brilliant mint state copper coins. Um, I, didn't, I didn't know that, but uh, this gives you really great resources uh, as far a resource as far as just learning about the mint and learning about coins. And like I have learned so much. Um, this almost makes me wanna buy the a complete set. There's a, go to eBay, type in the history of the United States. There's like a 32 page volume on the history of the United States. And it makes me wanna buy one of those sets and just read through it all because my gosh, you learn so much more than, you know, not only about the coins, but it teaches you how the US Mint coin cabinet got started. And uh, I didn't realize that I actually have a large cent that was the only uh, coin made that particular year. And uh, because of a coin shortage and different economic sanctions, the U.S. Uh, had the uh, United States, uh, or Bank of America, not associated with today's Bank of America, which was formerly Bank of California, but uh, Bank of America. And uh, Andrew Jackson vetoed that bank, the charter. I uh, Just so many really cool things. And I have to tell you, um, I have to tell you, this is a really cool book. And it's really got um, me looking for some new coins that I didn't uh, ever really notice. Um, and a lot of these early coins, you know, I go through and I have a lot of these. Like I have several cops. I have a pillar dollar. I've got a ton of those, the bus type pillar dollars. I've got a, a lion dollar. Um, I've got one of those. And I have one of those. I don't have one of those. Um, it's a hammer coin. But there's a lot of coins here that I would like to get my hands on. The St. Patrick Halfpenny. I think that's just a cool looking coin. I don't know why. I'd like to get my hands on that. But uh, there's a lot of cool coins here. And of course, many of these are featured in the normal red book. But I think this has some expanded... Um, some expanded areas here in the back. Uh, not on the commemoratives, but just expanded everything. I mean, this is an awesome pay, uh, book. It's got things on uh, foreign coins, error coins, uh, things that the Red Book, just the normal Red Book, just doesn't have. Um, so, like I said, I would definitely definitely pick this up if you can afford forty dollars don't pay the twelve dollars for the normal red book just buy the mega red book and you'll be happy that you did uh, so if you're an, an avid coin collector you stack silver and gold uh, or one of the two um, then you guys need to at least sign up for this coin world because you're going to find some really cool deals and you're going to find some cool things in here that are going to be beneficial for you and if you do rare coins, you should do both of these uh, publications worth the money. Trust me. So uh, I'd cancel this quicker than I, I trust me. I would have returned the book and canceled the subscription if it wasn't. So um, worth the money and uh, definitely would encourage you to, to get both. So thanks for watching you guys. And um, thank you for watching. And... Geez, look at these prices.
Um, estimate was 120,000 for the one Morgan dollar, 1893. So it's not a proof. It's rare though. Uh, MS 65 for the CAC sticker, 152,000 realized. My gosh, if I could just get one of these coins, I'd be thrilled. I'd probably never sell it to tell you the truth. So, um, like, look at that. MS65 peace dollar, beautiful peace dollar. Estimate was 3,500 and it realized 7,300 and it had the CAC sticker. Um, hmm. My, my, my. Really nice looking coins here. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.